Suddenly Jesus met them and said greetings, and they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. On Easter Day, we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The passage that you just heard comes from Matthew's Gospel. It will be proclaimed throughout the Episcopal Church on Easter Day. The women have just left the empty tomb where an angel has told them that Jesus has been raised from the dead and that he is going ahead of them to Galilee as they run to tell the other disciples this world-changing news, Jesus himself meets the women who take hold of Jesus' feet and they worship. Matthew's Gospel emphasizes that the risen Christ is to be worshiped. Jesus is not another prophet like Moses, nor is he a moral example whose teaching uh, lives on in our hearts. Rather, Jesus is the Christ of the living God, the risen one, and the only appropriate response when we encounter this Christ is to worship. But this passage bags the question, where do we go to encounter the risen Christ and worship him? It can be tempting to limit our worship of God to that which takes place only within the formal liturgy inside the walls of the church. But if Matthew's gospel tells us anything, it's that the risen Christ, the fully present in those walls, has also broke through them, broken through them. It, we're not to look for Jesus in Jerusalem alone, where the temple is located and where formal liturgical offerings are made to God. No, instead, Jesus says, tell my brothers I'll be in Galilee. In other words, where the people are. During this Easter season, my prayer is that you will encounter the risen Christ in Galilee, out in the world where the people organically gather to work, live, and play. The risen Christ is alive and present in our world right now. And the celebratory work that God invites the church into during Easter is to seek, find, and to be found by Christ in the world. God invites us to look for and name resurrection where we see it happening in the world so that all might know and worship the Lord. So the question I ask you is this. Where's your Galilee, that place in the world that Christ invites you to go? Your Galilee can be anywhere, your neighborhood, a nearby prison, a nursing home, or maybe the place where you work. But it is in Galilee that the Christ is to be found. There, Jesus says, we will see him, and upon seeing, be drawn into worship.